Good afternoon. Uh, today we will talk about another issue that is affecting the Palestinian life, especially in Gaza. Uh, finally, after like around 40 working days, I managed to have this traveling documents, which is my passport now. It says here that it's issued by the Palestinian Authority. For anybody who is not involved in this process will understand that it means that the decision to issue such traveling document is purely made by the Palestinian Authority, which is not the case. Because to issue this traveling document, you need to have this document, which we call it ID. This ID is purely issued and managed totally all the information inside this document by the Israeli side. And they decide for whom they should proceed or they should give this ID or not. And there is so many families in Gaza that they don't own this ID. So as a default, by default, they cannot issue this traveling document and they cannot travel anywhere. Either they are trapped in one of the Arab countries or they are trapped in Gaza, West Bank or wherever they cannot access or they cannot travel. The other thing that to issue that I want also to clarify is to issue this Palestinian traveling document or the, the traveling the passport that is issued by the Palestinian Authority. You need to to send first a copy of this ID to the Israeli side, and once they approve all the information inside this document, this will be communicated to the Palestinian Authority, and then you will be able to issue the the traveling document. This thing is applicable for adults and for children also. The same case because I had the same situation when I wanted to issue a traveling document for my son who was only five years old. Another issue from Gaza.